be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe. Like and comment on the video and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. All right, so check this out. Today's video is all about mixing. Um, I got one phrase for y'all. Listen, producers, stop making mixing so hard, okay? I remember when I was first getting started, mixing used to be like one of my top things that, was, that I would struggle with. And I'm going to give you some secret sauce, okay? The main thing that you could do if you want to get banging mixes every single time is learn how to level your beats properly. All right? Ma meaning leveling, meaning actually getting the proper levels. Because honestly, that's about 90% of mixing when it comes to mixing beats. All right? When it comes to mixing vocals in with it, it gets a little tough. But when it comes to mixing beats, 90% of everything is all about leveling. Now, check this out. I got this beat right here. Um, I literally just dragged it in and I'm going to go through some little quick tips that you could use when it comes to leveling and mixing your beats. First things first is that you want to go ahead and get you a little loop going on the main part of the song. So pretty much the hook of the song, you want to go ahead and put a loop on it. Second thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure that all your files, if you're using wave files, are organized. Okay, so I would, I would recommend putting like your kick drum at the top. Then you can do your 808s, make sure you have like your uh, snares where they need to be, probably after the 808s or whatever. And you just basically want to get your, your track organized. And let me see here, where are the hi-hats? I think I have some claps in here too. We'll put some claps up here. Boom. Okay, and boom. Okay, cool. Once you have your tracks organized, the next thing you want to do is literally to start with the drums. The drums are actually the main part that you want to make sure that you get done first. All right. Now, the first thing that you really want to pop out in the mix is the kick. The kick should be actually the, the loudest instrument in your mix. Okay, so that's why I always start with the kick first. Make sure it sounds full. Make sure it doesn't sound thin. And we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Let's just check it out. That kind of sounds a little thin. So what I can do to make it sound a little bit better is put this R bass on it. Maybe turn it down right here. Turn that down a little bit. All right, but we it sounds good. I would just do a slight bit of EQ. All right, cool. And yeah, we, once you get your, your kick sound in the way you want to, make, make sure that that's going to be your loudest instrument. Make sure it's punching. Next thing you want to make sure that's coming in is like your snares and your claps. You want it to be sitting right under, right under that kick. So like, let's start bringing in these like, claps and snares and stuff. Cool. After you get your snares and your claps and stuff like that sitting right under there, I would say next thing to do is make sure your 808s or your bass sound is sitting right under your kick in the snares or claps. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on that. All right, cool. So once you got those 808s sitting right under those claps, snares, and kicks, next thing is to bring in that hi-hat. And I make sure the hi-hat is sitting right under the 808.
Okay, and from there, you want to put the melody right under the hi-hats. All right, so let's just go to the main melody part, which would probably be the sample part right here. Let's check this out. Okay, and then pretty much after that, you want to make sure that all of the instruments are jiving together all across the whole track. So, like, for instance, you want to make sure that any instruments that you see that are playing in different parts, make sure that they're not too loud. Like this right here, this sample right here. Like as you can see, it's not like during the hook. So you want to make sure that that's leveled out properly. All right, and as you can hear, I just went through these and just took out some of the low end. You wanna make sure you're not taking out too much of the low end. You wanna keep all of the basic elements of that particular instrument intact, but just you know, curve out some of the low ends. Um, 
for the most part, this mix is pretty much done. And what you would want to do is just listen to it again and see if you want to do certain things to sweeten up the mix. Of course, you can go ahead and come through here and do some slight panning to the left or the right on some of the instruments, especially the melodies, you know, just touch it to the left or the right a little bit. Um, and in some things you can go ahead and put like reverb on just to make it sound, you know, pop out in the mix a little bit different. But let's listen to it again. And as you can hear, pretty much the beat sounds pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, again, one of the things I really was making a whole lot of mistakes on when I first started mixing is trying to do too much to the beat. It's all about, you know, picking the right sounds and everything like that. And once you know that the sounds are right, it's really just about leveling. You know what I mean? Taking in mind everything I said. If you have questions, please reach out to me. And I appreciate y'all watching. We out.